Eden is a small town home to about 800 people and folks here say this plant closing would be devastating. The community would be losing its largest employer, which provides the highest paying jobs. What do we want? Keep the plant open. When do we want it? Now. Dozens of people rallied in Eden today with signs that say, don't kill our town. We know how to mount a fight like this. They're protesting the plan to close the DMI Chassis factory, an auto supplier plant which makes parts for Ford. It's very devastating. United Electrical Local 17 leaders say DMI Chassis is phasing out operations between now and February at the Eden plant because of costly transportation issues. It now employs almost 80 workers at this facility. The average age? in their 50s. I mean, it's going to be hard on a lot of people. I myself, I'm 59 years old. It's going to be hard for me to start over and get another job. This plant has been more or less the backbone of the community since the 1950s. The mayor of Eden says closing the plant means local services will be put in jeopardy. There aren't many places to cut considering the village only employs four full-time people, including two police officers. We're looking at 25% uh, decrease in municipal income tax. The impact for our parents uh, trickles down to our students, of course. The superintendent of Eden Northwest Local Schools estimates the district will take a big loss in property tax revenue if the plant sits vacant and if those workers leave town or lose their homes. We're looking at the potential of close to $70,000 a year that our district would lose in uh, tax revenue. Good news is we aren't taking it lying down. But for now, the focus is on saving the plant saving the jobs. We're working very hard to try to keep that here. We have reached out to the company but have been told no comment. Meanwhile, Senator Sherrod Brown has written a letter to the CEO asking him to reconsider his decision to close the plant. Reporting from Eden, Christine Long, 13 ABC Action News.